Hi guys, my name is Freddy Korpshoek and in this video I want to show you how to transfer a complete WordPress website to a different web hosting provider. Maybe your site is slow, maybe you don't like the service of your web hosting company, maybe there's another reason and you want to transfer your website to a different web hoster. I will show you step by step how it is done. First, we will back up your website, then we will make a backup of your email address, your incoming and your outgoing emails, then we will transfer your domain. We get web hosting at a new web hosting company and we will configure your website as it is right now on your different web hosting provider. So let's get started with backing up your website. I want to transfer 30 Corp Media. Right now it's at HostGator and I want to send it to SiteGround. So I log in, WP Admin, and I want to install a plugin which is called All-in-One WP Migration. I go to Plugins, Add New, and I search for all in one WP migration. It's a really nice tool that will help you to make a complete backup of your website with all the files and the database. I click on install now and I activate it. Then I scroll down over here and I go to all in one migration and I click on export, export to file. Now it will prepare to export. And here it is, I can download it. So I click over here. And you see it is downloading right now. I close this. Now I go to my account email and I go to this email. Thank you for choosing HostGator. So I go to my portal. I click over here. I can log in with info at FreddyCorpsoop and with this password. And you see here I have Ferdicorp Media. I need to renew it in November. I go to Domains. And here it is Ferdicorp Media. Right now it is locked. When it is locked, you cannot transfer your domain. If you get a domain name, you need to keep it at least for 60 days at the same place. Well, this is after 60 days. So I click on the settings over here. And it says locked. I change it. And I turn it off and I save domain locking. Now I can request an EPP key. With that key, I can transfer my domain. So I request my EPP key and this is the code. So one more thing, I go to my email account through MacMail and here's my Ferdicorp email account that I want to copy. And I want to make a backup of this just in case and I want to implement all those emails into my new account at SiteGround. So I do a right mouse click on FerdyCorp on my inbox. I say export mailbox. I go to the desktop, moving FerdyCorp media. And I say email backup. I choose it and it will export now. And I do the same for my outbox, my send emails here, FerdyCorp media, just a few emails. Right mouse click, export mailbox, and I put it also over here. I say choose. So now we made a backup of our WordPress website with all-in-one migration. We unlocked the transfer and we have our EPP code that we need to transfer our domain to a different web hoster. Let's go to SiteGround. Let's go to webhosting125.com. And here we arrive at SiteGround web hosting crafted for a superior experience. I have a great experience with SiteGround. I was at HostGator, really good service, really fast websites. The only thing I don't like is that you get a lot of spam emails and you don't get that with SiteGround. If you start with your first website, use Startup. That's it. If you want to create more websites later, you can upgrade your account to grow big. But right now, this is great. You get a 50% of discount, $3.95 per month. It's a really good price and you get really fast website with a great service. When I moved to FerdyCorpsook.com, I had three big questions and I started the chat three times and three times they helped me really good. So I was so happy with them and I was like, yes, this is a web hosting provider I can promote for other people. So start up one website, 10 gigabytes of web space. You can have 10,000 visits per month. And if you get more, you should be happy. Then you can upgrade and then you get 25,000 visits monthly and you can go geek if you want to and it's if you really have a lot of visitors so let's start with this one get started and we already have a domain which is ferdicorp media 
If you don't have that, then register a new domain. If you would say Facebook, press enter, it would say this is an invalid domain. But if you want to have a new one, 30 corp 15, it would say that it is possible. I want to go back and I want to say I already have a domain, which is 30 corp media.com. So I proceed. My email address, 30 corp at gmail. I have to create a password. I'm from the Netherlands. Fill in those details. Vet registration number, if you fill this in, you don't get a discount, but you pay less because you're a company. I scroll down. I can pay with IDEO. That's the Dutch payment method. I go for credit card. My billing address is the same as given in the contact information. I have startup. My data center is in Amsterdam. I can choose a different one. I could say Chicago because my website is for English people. Period. I can say trial for one month. I would not do that. I go for 12 months and I pay $3.95 per month, which is really cheap in my opinion. This is free. I don't want to have a side scanner. And I can pay €47.40. Euro I confirm everything and I pay now. Your account was successfully created. You can log in into your customer area and start managing your website right away. So I can proceed to the customer area. You also get an email with your details, with your login details. And it says, welcome to SiteGround Account Setup Wizard. Start a new website at Ferdicorp Media. Transfer an existing website at Ferdicorp Media. And they can do that for you. I want to do it myself. So I say, no, thank you. I don't need help. And I say, proceed. And here I am. It can take a couple of hours, maybe two days before your transfer is completed. But what we can do already is go to my account, go to the cPanel and access the cPanel. And here I can click on WordPress auto installer. And I can say install now. You can choose your protocol. I like this one, Ferdicorp Media. I can choose a directory, for instance, Ferdicorp Media forward slash new but I will leave it blank because I want it to be at ferdicorpmedia.com. Site name, actually that doesn't matter because we will import our backup from our old ferdicorp.com. So I leave it, my username, my password, my admin email, my language, and this I leave it all as it is. I say install. So probably when you go to ferdicorp media right now, it's still the old website, as you see over here. So we need to do one more thing. I need to go to my email address where I signed up with at SiteGround. And here are a few emails from SiteGround. And I click on this one, important information about your new hosting account. I scroll down, I log in details, and it says, don't forget to update your DNS settings. You have indicated that you'll use a new account with an already registered domain name. So we need to go to HostGator again. And here you see the name server. You can say change. Now I go to my email. I grab this one. And I place it over here. And this one. Copy it. And paste it. What this will do, it will say the domain Ferdicorp Media will link to the web hosting that is at this server. And this is a server of SiteGround. So it will take a while. And then our new website will be seen at Ferdicorp Media. And then we can put back our backup from our old web hosting. So it's safe now. It can take a while. So we will wait. And now and then I will refresh my website. And I will tell you how long it will take. So it is now two hours later. And I want to refresh it and see if my website is transferred. I refresh it and you see it is transferred within two hours. So that's really nice. What I need to do now, I need to log in. So I go to forward slash WP dash admin and I will log in. And you see the website is completely new. So what I want to do, I want to go to plugins, add new, search for all in one WP migration. I install it now, I activate it, and I want to go to all in one WP migration. Just to make sh things sure, I want to remove all the plugins except for all in one. And I say deactivate them, apply, select them all except for all in one, and delete them, apply. 
there they go. Now I don't see Jetpack and all that stuff. I go to All-in-One, Import, Import from, File. We're going to grab the file we exported from our old Ferdicorp Media. So I go to my downloads and here it is, Ferdicorp Media. I open it and it's going to import. This can take a few minutes. So we're going to wait. I'm going to fast forward. It will overwrite everything. I'm okay with it. So I say continue. I need to go to permalink settings. I close this and I go to settings, permalinks. I need to log in again. And I need to select post name, scroll down, save the changes. And again, scroll down and save the changes. And right now, if we go to Ferdicorp Media, it is our same website, but now on a different website. I can go to a different page. If you want to learn how to create this website, click here. What I need to do now, I need to go to my email. And I need to create a new email account, the same one as I had before, and put all my old emails in there. It is info at Ferdicorp Media. So I go to the cPanel. I go to my account, to cPanel, proceed. I scroll down and I go to email accounts. And I want to create a new one, which is info. I create a password, I repeat the password, and I want to have a thousand megabytes. I create the account and then I go to more configure email client. I scroll down and I need to create a new email account. I will do that with Mac mail. Here you see my old email address and I go to mail account, add account. It is an other mail account. Continue. Ferdy Corp Media New info at Ferdy Corp media.com my password i just created sign in and it needs some more information so i go to the cpanel again and i copy the incoming server and the outgoing server is exactly the same so i need to paste it twice one time and a second time info at ferdicorp media i copy it and i use it as my username to start with and i say sign in it is imap I don't want to sync notes, only the mail. So I say done. And here it is. Ferdicorp Media. I go to mail, accounts, and I go to this one. I copy this name. I paste it over here. I close this. And now it's called Ferdicorp Media New. Now I go to Ferdicorp Media. I say command A. I hold Alt on my Mac and I copy them to my new server like that. And there they go. The same with my sent emails from Ferdicorp Media, my, my old address. I select them all, hold Alt and I drag them to my new sent emails. I can also select file, import mailboxes, Apple mail, continue and get my inbox, which I exported or my outbox, but I can do it also this way. And now if I go to the cPanel again, and I go to the last page, I can click on more and access webmail. You see it's info at Ferdicorp Media, and there they are all my emails. So this one is highlighted, and it's also highlighted over here. If I would uncheck this highlight, and I refresh it, it will also be unchecked over here. So that's how it works with IMAP, really nice. I need to do one more thing. So I go back to my account and over here I see Ferdicorp Media. I did not transfer this domain yet. I'm just linking it to this web hosting from HostGator. So I want to transfer it. So I click on transfer. I confirm everything and I say check domain status. Over here I need my EPP code. I saved it. So it's over here. I copy it. You can find it at your HostGator portal or the portal where your web hosting is. I paste it. Do you have access to this email? Yes. This is all okay. And it cost me around $12. I pay now. Now I need to go to the email address that was attached to HostGator, which is this one. And here it says SiteGround Domain Services Transfer Request for Ferdicorp Media. I need to scroll down. 
please go to our website and approve or decline. So I click over here and I have to say I agree that this transfer will be authorized. Here it is, the transfer code, submit request. Your transfer request will be submitted and can take up to seven days, but it is already linked to your web hosting, so it should be fine. And that is how it is done. So what we have done, we've created our complete WordPress website to a different web hosting account within a day. I think that's a really nice accomplishment. We did not lose anything. We have the same website, we have the same email address, and we have all the emails we had in our last email address. And now we have better web hosting. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me next time. Bye bye.